What's up guys, in this video, I wanna start with the most important thing you need to know when you're trying to solve radical equations. So you can see in this example here, we have a four times the square root of five X plus one minus four equals 12. Now, one of the most important things that we learn or I want you to understand that is common amongst all functions is this idea of what is inside the function and what is outside the function. So I want you to understand, this is extremely important for you to understand what we're doing. Under the square root, right, which is a square root function, you can see we have the five X plus two. On the outside, we have the four, as well as the negative four. So when you're solving square root functions or really any kind of function, the main important thing that we want to do first is isolate the square root. We want this to be, you know, square root of whatever, you know, equals some number and let's just call that C, okay? So we gotta get whatever's under the radical. We want that square root to be isolated so now we can go ahead and solve. So if you just think about this, and again, one of the things I like to do when we're first learning this is say, you know what, forget about the square root. What about if I just wrote this as a four X minus four equals 12? Right, what would you do? And again, guys, this is the relationship. Like, what is actually x? x is actually a function, right? It's actually the identity function. So you can just kind of think about it in this and say, oh, if I was gonna actually to solve this two-step equation, first thing I do is add a four on both sides. Well, guys, look at this. It's the same thing, but instead of using the identity function, we're now using the square root function. Don't worry about what's inside the function, right? We're only focused on what is outside the function. So the first thing we're gonna do is add a four to both sides. Now you can see over here again, we'd have a four X is equal to a 16. So then the next thing we're now gonna do is say, all right, well, if I need to undo, right, multiplication by four, I need to divide by four. So you're gonna divide using what we call the inverse operation, right? So that'd be an X is equal to a four. So over here, we need to undo multiplying by four by this radical um, function. So I'm going to divide by a four on both sides. And again, remember this is four times the square root of five X plus one. So those are gonna divide out just like those divide out. And now we're going to be left with a square root function or square root equation where it is isolated. Okay, so here's where it comes into the importance of understanding why we want to be able to have everything isolated um, in this in, for, into this form. So the reason is because we wanna be able to get to using our inverse operations. We want to be able to undo the square root. And over here, we undid subtraction by adding a four. Over here, we undid multiplication by dividing by four. So one of the things that we gotta make sure we understand is, well, how do we undo the taking the square root of something? And again, it's the same thing if you took the cube root or the fourth root, like how do we undo that? And the inverse operation of that is going to be squaring or raising to a power. Remember, we have an index here, which is two, right? So if there's no number there, it's just assume that is two. So if I wanna undo taking the square root, all I simply need to do is square both sides. Now, when we're squaring both sides, we always need to be careful of creating extraneous solutions. We'll talk about that in some future videos. But for right now, I just want you to understand that the square root of something squared are inverse operations, just like they are did over here. And therefore, what they're gonna do is now just gonna give us an equation, which is five X plus one is equal to 16. And now you can see that I can use my inverse operations to go ahead and solve this two-step equation. Okay, so before I go ahead and finish the video, I wanna make sure mentally, does this answer check? Does this answer work? And so when I plug in the three, 15, that's plus one, 16, that's gonna be square root of 16 is four, four times four is 16, minus four is 12, and it looks like we are all set. Now this video is pretty straightforward, but if you wanna know the next technique you absolutely need to know for solving radical equations, that's gonna come up in the next video.